highlights of the defending back-to-back -back MEAC champions, SC State University Bulldogs. Our sponsors are State Farm Insurance, Orangeburg County, the South Carolina Education Lottery, the Regional Medical Center, Time Warner Cable, Palmetto Health, Advanced Diagnostic Imaging Center, Fats Cafe, Paragon Builders, Bill Owings Custom Clothing, and Whitash Furnishing. And now, here's Coach Buddy Pugh and our host, Ernest Robinson. And welcome once again to another edition of the Buddy Pugh Show as we talk South Carolina State football with Bulldog Head Football Coach Buddy Pugh. On Saturday, South Carolina State, unfortunately, fell to Bethune-Cookman 14 to nothing as upset Saturday extended its ugly arm down to Orangeburg coach 14 to nothing to Bethune-Cookman this was a tough one in which because your defense played so well I thought our defense did play well at times and uh, you know their quarterback Matt Johnson did have a chance to uh, play us at time but you know on offenses where we really had our problems and uh, I thought the athleticism of their defensive line versus our offensive line really showed his ugly head and you know they outplayed us there for, for sure and, and we've got to go back to the drawing board and figure some things out here now because uh, uh, we got ourselves in a pretty good size hole. And when you look at the situation for South Carolina State as we go through the highlights from Saturday's game we look at the stats from Saturday's game it was much closer than the score would indicate we can't wait to get to that let's tell you how South Carolina State started it on Saturday I'm talking about as we go through the starting lineups for the Bulldogs this is the way we started it out coach in the backfield uh, another big game for the guys up front as they keep Chris Massey to an outstanding rushing performance. They did. Uh, Chris Massey did have a good uh, day of rushing. Uh, a lot of it on his own. Uh, there were times when uh, uh, he was tackled in the backfield, I thought, and he still made yards. So, you know, it was a big day for him. And, you know, Malcolm was on the run most of the day. Uh, it was a tough day for him. And, you know, he didn't play great, but at the same time, you know, we have to protect him better. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I feel really bad about, you know, what happened with him there yesterday. And then our defense, as you see here now, you know, I thought came to the, came to the dance with a real sense of purpose. And, you know, we just got to get them to, uh, uh, to, you know, to play better in some certain situations. All right, with that, a stout defensive effort by South Carolina State on Saturday. Of course, Bulldogs with the loss to Bethune-Cookman, 14 to nothing. We will take a time out here on the Buddy Pugh Show. When we come back, we'll get to Saturday's highlights the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats in South Carolina State on this edition of the Buddy Pew Show. Furnishings for this set of the Buddy Pew Show provided by Whitash Furnishings. Whitash Furnishings is a proud sponsor of the Buddy Pew Show. It was a sunny fall afternoon in Orangeburg, Saturday. South Carolina State won the toss. We elected the kickoff coach, and the defense and special teams played well early on. Yeah, uh, we got them stopped here pretty early. Uh, Jason Ayers, you see there, was uh, taking the, the dive, and then uh, their quarterback, Matt Johnson, uh, made a little bit of yardage, and then they throw a ball out here uh, on the slant route, and our guys knock it out of his hand, and then we give it to Massey. Chris Massey on Saturday, 123 yards rushing football coach, averaged almost six yards of care. Yeah, but now this is a sign of things to come here. Uh, you know, we run a action pass here, and we get pressure, you know, from both the front and the back side, and that seemed to be kind of the end of the day. And, you know, that's what we got to get fixed. This is David Irby uh, on uh, uh, Matt Johnson here, taking him on the quarterback read zone play. And this is kind of what this guy does. You know, he kind of scrambles around and, and buys some time and, 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 and finds the receiver eventually. Uh, we eventually get him stopped here, though. This is a fourth down play. That running back, uh, Isidore Jackson, you know, had been, his progress had been stopped. The Jason Ayers and Pat Washington, I think Donovan Richards finally got, finally got in there and kind of cleans it up and then, we get the football back here again, and then you see what Massey does. He, he's, he's having a lot of yards after contact. Uh, this is a 12 or 13-yard run here, and, you know, he was hit at the line of scrimmage. And then, you know, Malcolm comes through here, and we try to hit uh, uh, Antoine Carr right down the middle. And, uh, you know, we miss him, so we end up punting back to him. And then you know, they throw a little screen ball here, and Jason Ayers bats it down. 
Jason Ayers out of Marlboro County High School, a senior for South Carolina State, putting pressure on Matt Johnson. Johnson forced out of the pocket. The coach, he was able to buy time and find open receivers after he initially broke the pressure. Yeah, this is Johnson scrambling around here to Reams, and then they come back around here, and then, you know, he starts scrambling, and Ronnell Ferguson sacks him, uh, gets him down, and, you know, that stops the drive for us there. And we then, you know, get the football back here, and you see Malcolm throwing the uh, uh, little out route here, the, uh, the smash concept to Antoine Carr for first down. And this was a third down conversion play right at the end of the first quarter. So, you know, we were hanging around. You know, they were, you know, getting some yardage. We were getting a little bit of yardage, but, you know, it was still a, a nothing nothing game at the end of the first quarter. And then, you know, you see our defense playing good here. This is the rezone play, and Urban. Donovan Richards, those guys are making some nice plays there, and then they come back around the other side. Donovan's really finding his way here now. He's kind of settling in and really understanding what they're doing, and he's making a bunch of plays. And then you know, Malcolm scrambles around here. You know, he finds Elmo out in the flat here. This is another third down conversion. So we're getting it out of the, you know, the shot of our own goal line, trying to get the ball on the field, but we don't really ever do enough to, uh, to consistently move the ball. And, you know, we come up just short here of a first down. Uh, Malcolm uh, rolls out and throws it to uh, uh, Norwood. To, yeah, to Norwood. And Norwood doesn't quite get enough. I wish he had just kind of caught it and kind of stayed up And then you see Donovan here make another play. You know, it's kind of play after play for him. And Donovan Richard on Saturday had 17 and a half tackles. They uh, gave him two sacks and four and a half sack tackles behind the line of scrimmage. That's another one there. That was a sack there that he made. And, you know, you see him run around, and then, you know, this guy here, though, he's, this is what he does. Again, you know, this is a third down conversion, and, you know, he kind of steps around and, and makes a play, and, you know, they get another play here. We we actually make another nice ball. That's Pat Washington, a lot of guys around that ball. Coach, you talked about time of possession before the game, and that was obviously a concern in the first half, but the defense seemed to be up to the task. They did. Uh, you know, this was a... Uh, a, a post ball down the middle. This is kind of what we try to do where when you're getting some of your secondary guys into your run support and then when you try to dip your nose in there a little bit too much, you know, on the run plays, you know, you see what happens. They run a little option pass here in school. Francois with the pass to Javon Reeves, 16 yards. Bethune Cookman on with Francois, an ex quarterback. They lined him up in the backfield. They come up with the score. That was the score for the first half. And of course, South Carolina State now with time running out in the first half, actually get a shot down the field. Yeah, uh, Malcolm scrambles around here. And, you know, we don't really have anything, but he does, he does find something in Elmore. You know, and Elmo makes plays if you give him a chance. And, you know, we get the ball in his hands, and he looks like he's going to almost break this one. But, uh, you know, they finally do get him down. And, you know, we don't get much done after that. You know, we end up having to punt the ball away here again. You see Blake uh, uh, Erickson punting the ball. This actually was a low snap here. Most of our snaps were good. David Davis has really been doing a good job for us on our snaps. And, you know, we kick it down here. We punt it down to about the three-yard line. And, trying to hold them again. I think we're going to get them stopped here again and actually get the ball back, but they're going to get a great punt off against us. But now, you know, you see our guys here. This is Roy Nell and, and, and uh, Pat Washington and Donovan Richards, all those guys involved again. And then we get the football back here right at the end of the half. And then you see Malcolm here scrambling around a little bit, and he throws the ball out here in the right flat. And he tell more. It's one of the... Linnell Elmer was really coming to his own, but guess what, folks? He came back. Yes, yeah. He came back for a holding call on Johnny. How, it, the, he ends up taking the guy to the ground. The referee is back behind. You know, I think he's kind of behind the play. You know, he's from Ang. I don't know if he got quite saw it like we'd like to see it. All right, we'll take a break here on the Buddy Pugh Show. 7 nothing Bulldogs Trail. We'll be back with more on this edition of the Buddy Pugh Show. The Palmetto Health Injury Report, Coach, and as you said last week, unfortunately, this list tends to get a little longer each week. You're exactly right. Uh, Javar Nathan, uh, one of our uh, offensive guards, is down. Julius may be down also with a hip pointer. Marsha has been down, and Ashton didn't play again yesterday. So, you know, we've got our uh, worries with these uh, injuries. It's halftime on the Buddy Pugh Show. South Carolina State trailing Bethune-Cookman 7-0, Coach. And although it's a, a seven-point difference first time we trailed this year, it didn't seem like a time to sound the alarm. No, no you, we didn't really feel panicked at the half. You know, we thought that we could get uh, some things going. Uh, felt good about uh, uh, being able to transition into some things that might be a little bit better for us offensively, but at the same time, you know, we knew that we had our work cut out for us because they were playing really good uh, up front on defense. All right, we've got to take a time out here on the Buddy Pew Show. It's halftime. When we come back, we'll get to Saturday's exciting highlights, Bulldogs and Wildcats in Orangeburg on this edition of the Buddy Pew Show.